Hello. Sorry about that technical difficulties. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully people can see this this time. I'll hang tight for some people trying to get in. Hopefully y'all can find it. There we go, there's Chad. I'm so sorry about the delay, y'all. Just my angle just a little bit. Did it blip out? It might have blipped out for a second. Looks like we're doing a lot better now. Sorry for all that. Oh my gosh, that was mayhem. Okay. So what was going on a second ago? Uh, it's, it's because of the CDC stuff, all the, you know, the regulations. And I had put that it was kid friendly, but the problem with that is that you can't have chat then if it's kid friendly. So that was what was going on. So my bad, y'all. Hello, everybody. I am the Art Lab TX. I am the Art Snacks Ambassador for Texas. And I'm a little frazzled now because I had all that hubbub happen to my live stream. And now I hope people are trickling in. Where's everybody? Where's everybody listening in from, watching from? <laughs> oh yeah, me too, Fluffball. <laughs> It was, it was because of the guidelines for chat. You can't make it kids friendly and have chat. It's, it's a way to like safeguard for kids. So I didn't read that little fine print whenever I was scheduling it and all that stuff. Yeah, so hopefully y'all can see it now. It was a little bit of a crazy, crazy thing. Hello, Mitch from Caribbean Islands of St. Lucia. Well, wow, that's really far. Hello everybody, welcome to the live stream. So in this live stream, I'm going to be uh, going through the contents of the January box and then I'm also, um, I'm also going to be doing the Arts Next Challenge live. And yeah. I'm glad we're back in it. I'm so sorry about all the delay. Ooh, New York, cool. Welcome everybody. Those of y'all just joining us, just let me know where y'all are watching from. So yeah, like I said, I'm from Texas and we've been having like up and down weather. It's kind of like warm, which I'm really thankful for, but then we get like these cloudy days and I'm like, it just kind of adds to the, the feeling, but I'm gonna get through it and push through it, so yeah. I hope y'all follow along, you know, let me know what y'all are doing. We have a network called The Mix and we all post our artwork on there, kind of a nice place to share, um, share artwork and be a part of a art community and see what everybody's creating. It's a great place for like inspiration and stuff. And so uh, join us over there. That's where I'm going to be posting most of the stuff. I'll also be posting it um, on my handle on Instagram at the Art Lab TX. Get this stuff out of the way. Alrighty. I'm really glad it's working out. I'm so sorry for all of the, all of the stuff that happened a second ago. I did not realize it was being all like that. Hi Kaz, how are you? Where are you, where are you watching from? I'm just gonna go ahead and get into all this. Hopefully everybody gets here. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
here is what we got in the Art Snacks Plus box. Haley, <laughs> make a dinner and watch Christy do the stream. <laughs> I'm glad. So um, this is all of the stuff that we got in this box. It's a lot, it's a lot of stuff. This was, this box was chock full of mixed media stuff and I'm really into uh, mixed media stuff right now. So I hope I can help y'all, you know, get a handle on what's going on with this box and stuff. Let me get my stuff all situated. Still a little bit, there we go. Okay, so one of the main things was this Bristol board in the back. Here's our menus also which let me read the joke. How does an artist get around? Quite easily. <laughs> I love I love the jokes that they put on here. It's really awesome. There's the link for the mix. It's the same one here. And then it tells you all the information. Um, each box retails. it up each box retails for $24 plus uh, the regular oh my gosh I'm all over the place I'm sorry this box which is a nice big box the plus box retails for $34 plus include and uh, not including free shipping oh my gosh I'm all over the place I'm sorry Lee <laughs> Is it still buffering? You may want to refresh. Nope, I got my price wrong. It's $39 plus, plus shipping. <laughs> A regular box is $24. Plus free shipping. My bad. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> hey, Brie. You're just in time to witness me not doing great. <laughs> I just got a little a little flustered, but I'm getting back into it. Uh, here is the uh, here is the uh, showing what's on the Our Snacks Plus menu, which is the Bristol board. You get this whole 15 sheets of Bristol. The Tombow Knock Eraser, which this is super awesome. I've been using it this whole past couple weeks. And then you also get this brush, which is a part of the Plus Box. Those are the three products. This is actually a first time that we've had three products as the, the Plus items. And then in the regular box, I believe you get the brush. The brush, the sommelier, the crayon, and the Tombow. Oh, I missed the pencil. There's the pencil. Yeah, those are the, those are what's in the regular box. This is what's included in the plus box. Normally I'm more organized about this. Hi, Margaret, how are you? Where are you watching in from? I'm just so flustered today. Just because of that mishap with the thing, it just kind of threw me off in my whole groove. So I'm just gonna set that aside and here's the sticker from Lee. Thanks for the awesome design. Even like their eraser and the pencil tip has changed a little bit. It's super cool. I love it. I'm gonna be going a little more abstract in this one. Let's see. Also, just for this stream, um, and also this code is available until the end of the month. It is YouTube20 uh, for 20% off your entire purchase, regular purchase. Oh cool, yay, more Texas. <laughs> Margaret's watching from Pleasanton, Texas. Yay! Okay, so what I did before the stream was in the in my plum chester, which has all my stickers and stuff. Um, I put I put all my swatches in. So let me pull 
squish this aside. So here's my main swatches over here of the of the media. So I have like the acrylic, the 3D liner right here, just kind of testing it out. I always test all of my stuff. That's a lot of like what I do when I first open the box. I just do swatches real quick. Um, this is the Marabou. Yes, the code is only available for purchases, not uh, for, it's for products, not for subscriptions. Um, this is the Bemoji. And then this is the pencil. I didn't really do much with the pencil, but you can smudge it. Um, it H stands for, well, I actually don't know what it stands for, but it's usually it, for me, my own dis definition of what the H stands for is like hard. So um, your regular pencils come with like HB on it and that's like your usual kind of, you're able to smudge it and stuff. This one is really good for like painting and stuff. And so like typically it won't, it's really good for like watercolorists. So like if you're doing a lot of water media, it won't smudge. Um, it has a little bit of smudging, but it but it's a lot less than like your regular stuff. What colors did y'all get? Because in the 3D liner, I got this really pretty teal color called turquoise. Not teal, it's turquoise, my bad. Um, which is actually, this is kind of cool because it's similar to what we got a few months back with the uh, Sennelier, um, Sennelier uh, acrylics with the, uh, with the different nozzles on it. And then in the Marabou crayons, I got, I got Raspberry. I didn't realize that was the name of it. I, raspberry. It's pretty raspberry. It has a punch to it. Um, and then the, the pen is in black, of course. Those are the only colors I got. So on this other side of my spread, actually on this part of the spread, I mix the colors. Anytime I get like just a couple of colors, I usually like to mix them. So what I did was I actually took, um, I took my palette and I mixed up in this little jar here, I mixed up a solution of what we got a couple months ago in the November box, the Liquitex Flow Aid um, with some water. So I used that flow aid is really good because the Marabou crayon, um, for me, like, like I'll be doing a bunch of different like mark making with this, but I want to get like more of the color. So what I did was I just took a little bit of this, put it in here, and then I took the tip of it and I swirled it around like this. So that way it gets more of a paint consistency. You can do this like multiple ways. So like to get, the color out you can do it that way you can take water on your brush and you can actually like pull it from the tip like this and so you get the paint that way um, there's multiple ways to use that and then you can use it like a crayon like just directly on there so there's multiple ways to use the marabou crayons and we've gotten these in the past these are pretty awesome i have i think i have gray teal a turquoisey color and then like a gray color. So I have multiple colors of this, but for this, I'm just focusing on this, uh, these colors. So that's kind of how I did that. And then in these other wells, I took like this, the Sennelier, and I squidged it out. I'll be using that as is like, like actually writing with it later in the 3D writing later but this is the way to kind of get it a little more looser without just adding water to it because for acrylics you're not supposed to add like direct just straight water with it because it, it dulls down not dulls down the color but it you don't get as much pigment load it like breaks down the acrylic that's just what I've heard from various sources like you don't want to add just straight water that's what the flow aid is for um, made of, up of some sort of chemicals. So then what I did from then, let me rinse out my brush. I took some of the pink and I put it over here. 
And then I took some more of the pink and I plopped it over here and here. And then I take some of this blue and I put it over here. And then it mixes to this really nice purple color. And then I do a little more mixing, maybe a little more of that. I want it to be a little more blue, so I just add a little more of that teal. And so it makes this more of a lavender color. And you do it again. And I want it to hum a little more warm, so pick up a little bit more of that and then put it in there. So it's a little bit different from that, but maybe a little warmer there. So anytime I get two colors, I always mix. It's a good idea whenever you're like getting into it. Cause like some people are like, oh, I got this teal. And like, you know, some people they don't like really bright colors like this. Um, hey Allie, welcome back to the stream. Um, so whenever I'm, whenever I'm, I'm dealing with like two really bright colors, I like to see what they can mix together. It's like, you know, just from that really bright pink and this really bright teal, I got some really nice other colors from that. So here, let me get, let me show you on this side. So on this side, I did a, it doesn't show up that great on the, on my camera. It shows up okay. Um, but I'll show you, these are some of the marks I made like this. I made these square marks I made with the brush, which I thought about, I was like, well, what sort of like marks other than like a straight line can I make? Well, you can make a square with it, just like I did on the title card here. You can make squares or little diamonds with that. Um, and then I mess around with like some of, some of the line work and like putting thinner lines over something thicker. I did that also over here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing it like kind of a combination of, uh, a combination of um, abstract stuff with a little bit of lettering. I'm gonna try to letter as best as I can. My um, my tip on my 3D liner has been kind of like exploding. Um, so I, I'll try my hardest on like lettering and stuff, but I'll pencil it in first. So I just wanted to show y'all that some of my test stuff, it's always good to test your stuff before you actually get into it. So some of, one of the quotes that I'm gonna be doing um, is you are a dang unicorn woman. So my friend, I was feeling like really like down the other day. So um, fellow Art Snacks ambassador, Michelle Co. She um, was just trying to encourage me. And she's like, you're a dang unicorn woman. And I just like, I love that line. And so I thought like these colors could really lend themselves to these different layouts. So I'm going to be trying to letter all of these because I'm, I, wasn't quite sure on which one I want to do. So I have multiple sheets of paper that I've already prepped um, for these. They are right here. So just to show you kind of like, I cut down the Bristol because I didn't want to be working from such a large sheet. The, the Bristol is really big. I mean, like that's, it's nine by 12 inches and that's like really that's like a little too much for me so a good way to like remedy that like having too much space and too too much like space is to cut down your paper so it's okay like on this one i cut it down um actually that background this background color is a mixture of those those colors i mixed a bit ago so um yeah so i'm gonna be I think I'm gonna letter that first one. I'm gonna letter this one. Also, one more thing that I might add, depending on how I'm feeling, just because I wanted another color, a uh, darker color, is the FW Mixed Media Paint Marker. It has a really thick uh, tip on it, so I thought I might use that maybe. We're, we're dealing with uh, acrylic ink, so it's in the same family too, so I thought I might use that just in case. So I'm working on some abstract stuff. I'm giving tips and stuff uh, here and there. 
Welcome, Miss Lady. How are you? Feel free to paint along with me, so or draw along with me. So I'm gonna do some lettering here. It's gonna be pretty big. Oof. This is still fairly large too, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to divide it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, I need a little smaller. Maybe this big, okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just lettering real quick. Just so I have like a guide for my 3D liner. I'm gonna be lettering, doing a little bit of lettering and then I'll be doing some other abstract mark stuff in a bit. Ooh. A little wider, I like it wider. Always good to pencil in things before you just go in, guns blazing, you know. Welcome to the stream. So I'm just gonna be a little bit. A lot to touch. I'm gonna be mixing some of the letters too. Like I'm not gonna be doing all, all lowercase or all cap. This depends on how it looks. I made this a really fat A. So is anybody else? What other, I don't think I got a lot of feedback. What are the other colors everybody else got? I saw green and orange. How many of y'all are subscribers? Are there any non-subscribers? Or a... Unicorn. Okay. I'm doing some lettering before I get into the actual 3D pen writing. Before I get into it, because it's always good, because every time I tried to letter something, it would end up wobbly. So I'm just gonna. I'm just doing this real quick. I prepped this background with these same washes here. Red and purple. Ooh, I bet those mix really nicely. Red and purple crayon. Oh. You are a thing. Red and green. Ooh, I wonder how that red and green mixes. Like, uh, so you got the red, you got red in the 3D liner and then green marabou, I'm guessing. Is it like a true, is it like a grass green or, cause I could see those, I could see those becoming like really nice, a nice neutral. Mm, I don't like the way that G looks. You have to be careful whenever you're penciling because then if you pencil too dark, you can't erase it very well. So I'm being really light handed with this so it doesn't like indent the paper. Kind of refining it a little bit so that way I know where exactly I'm writing. And I'll come back with the pencil later. So I'm just doing some lettering here. Anybody on the mix? Ding. Unicorn. There we go. Really big you. Really. Mm. Sweep this 
this eye over. Oh, there we go. Maybe make it a little shorter. There we go. I like that eye to be a little bit more. Scary times when you press down really hard, yeah. Sometimes, so somebody told me like the harder you press down on something, the more confident you are. Hey, Art Adventure, welcome back. Um, sometimes when, uh, sometimes if you're like really confident, like on some of those lines, I was really confident. So I just like hit it really hard. And then I was like, oh, no, I can't, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Well, this one didn't say woman. I'll just I'll just leave it at you are a dang unicorn. The whole quote is you are a dang unicorn woman. So <laughs> on the next one I'll do woman because I want to fit I want to fit her name on here. that 3D writer is going to do for small, so I'll just try to kind of show and space it out. It's a little wonky. Okay. Everybody say hi to Lee. <laughs> Busy throwing out things, packing boxes, preparing for my move. Oh no, where are you moving to? should test this out <laughs> just going in hang on let me grab one of my sheets right here so that way I just don't okay okay it's good to have one of those nearby shaking. I'm just giving it a little bit of pressure and kind of holding it, I don't know, not exactly like a pencil down here, but I'm trying to push up here to like alleviate some of my... It's okay, it's just an exercise. <laughs> with it a little bit. Oh, there's the first look. <laughs> there's the first air bubble. I'm trying to tap it so that way it It's okay. It's kind of like I'm keeping like consistent pressure. Like I'm not even letting up right now because I'm afraid the air bubbles are gonna like get trapped in the line. So I'm trying to like. Oh boy. I, you'll hear tapping every so often. It's so that way I can get the air bubbles out. of art making is making the stuff out of your mistakes, I feel like. <laughs> oh, goodness, I'm not breathing. It was so hard to only choose five items. Oh, yeah, the BYOB. Who else did the BYOB? Pink and blue. This stream will be going on and uh, for another 30 minutes. 
My final ever Arts and Xbox team. Aww. Aww. You're moving overseas? Oh dear. You're moving overseas? Oh my gosh, you're moving to Australia. Oh, I missed that. Oh boy, that's crazy. They're still suffering from all the fires, too. Slow and steady wins the race. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. <laughs> I'm doing a pulling motion because every time I would push, it would like indent into the line. When do you move exactly? Adventure. I wanted to buy, but my dad didn't let me. I'm very sad. Aw. Hey, Jessica! Time to get a part-time job, Elsa. I've been working ever since I was 14. <laughs> That's a long time to be working. I don't know how old you are, but that's a long time to be working. Shipping is hard. At least you can still tune in to like the live streams. Oh, there, uh, mm, <laughs> there it is again. These explosions, I just never know when they're gonna happen. <laughs> oh yeah, in the mix too. I hope you'll stay connected with this. Oh my gosh, come on, Pink. This paint is really like, um, it's like a heavy. Ooh, my hand's shaking now. Tap this on the ground. Addicted to the mix. These live streams and buy buns unboxings. There we go. Just tap it on the ground. These air bubbles are really getting me. It's hard to do a 3D line whenever there's like bubbles in the line. Or space anywhere. I need that a little thicker to hide that. <laughs> it's not the best. We'll definitely stay in touch. Arts, we will miss you here in the States. But definitely stay in touch with us on the mix and show us all the stuff that you get over there. Because Australia is a whole other world from what we hear. Oh boy. Okay, that was really hard. Okay, so. I think, like, I like the idea of this. Um, I like the idea of this, but I do like the other uh, sommelier product that we have on the Art Snacks shop, which is the paint, the paint bags. Um, 
they're a lot, the paint bags paired with the tips because those are um, a little more, I think the bag is easier. It's like more stable, I guess, and there's less air pockets in it. Like you're not always, the bag is not always gonna bounce back. With this, it's such a firm uh, container that every time you, you let go, it, it intakes more air. So the other, um, the other paint, you don't have that problem. Um, but I mean, it's a really cool idea and I like, you know, I like, you know, how much paint you're getting in this and the colors that are available, but like, I would prefer the bags over this. Like I'm saving my other bags of, um, abstract sennelier. So yeah, there's that one. Okay. And this one. I gotta let that dry. I can't really fiddle with it. Um, I didn't even put my code there right. There we go. Okay, so in this one, I'm gonna do a little more like color blocking and stuff and hopefully like the colors don't like mix. Actually, no, not this one. I don't want to do it on this one. I want to do more light writing on that one. I just want to do some. So also know that whenever you're using the flow aid, it does uh, loosen. Oh, no, I gotta take that instrumental. Um, it, it's, you have to be careful because it's a lot lighter. Like all the stuff was really pale whenever I was first applying this. Whenever I was applying that wash on the other sheet, it's really light. Maybe just some squares. You have to be quick about it on this Bristol because otherwise you'll see your brush marks like on mine. dry. I'm trying to not do puddles so that way it'll dry faster. When you mix the marabou crayon in there you really have to make sure all of the stuff is mixed. See the difference here in a bit whenever I make some marks on here how different uh, it is in like in a in a pure way in the like just the pure pigment and stuff I'm still working on like my my uh, still working on my water control really bright pink which I don't like how bright it is it's funny because it says it's it's like it's purple like my crayon it looks purple but it's like really bright pink and it's raspberry on top of that <laughs> it is so bright <laughs> Big rectangle over here. Yep. Quick 
quickly, quickly. Okay, so another uh, tip, I wouldn't recommend doing like really heavy washes with this paper because it is um, a lot lighter. Bristol paper is not as heavy as like watercolor paper. I just realized on here it doesn't state how much weight it is, but huh. I was just looking on here, it doesn't state how heavy it is. It just says it's two ply. I'm not really sure what that means as far as paper weight, but I do know it's probably not 140 because 140 paper is a lot thicker. It's a lot like the the. It's a lot thicker. Ooh, cool. I hope you share that later, Elsa, on the mix. Mothman. Whoop! I blew at it and it went flying. Okay. So, I don't think my other one is dry yet. No, not dry yet. Cannot touch that. With the 3D liner, you really have to be careful too because that takes a while to dry because it's on there so thick. You have to watch out for that. I did this pretty light, so I think I can go over it. Okay, so I just want to go kind of willy-nilly. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, there's my other sheet over here. I'm gonna put that sheet over here so it protects it. There we go. Finish out that line. Sheet. Maybe I just use the behind part of this. Whoop, I'm off. Off there. <laughs> now, it doesn't like going over this crayon, as I see here. It's having a hard time. So you're just going to remark it. And then just go over the line again. If it messes up on you again, you just remark it over here. I really like this pen because it has like a really wide girth. shapes here and there to give it a little more variety. I like adding things in threes. Threes are nice. sharpen this pencil real quick actually. Oops, opened it the wrong way. All my pencil shavings went everywhere. Sharpen the pencil. Are you drawing Mothman with your box? Or just Mothman like Thank you. 
Just adding marks and stuff. Okay, see you later, Lee. Sorry about the hubbub at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> My box, yeah, my mom's. Oh, okay. How well does the marabou crayon dissolve on paper with just water? It dissolves all right. Here, I have a bit of a smidge here. So it depends on like how hard you push. So I push pretty hard. dabbed it off. Well, that mark was already there. And this mark was here too. You have to realize that it's a crayon. It melts pretty good. And I had a lot. Like, I pushed pretty hard on that. Um, and then here's with the other way. With the, um, the flow medium it's like super flowy it's like definitely more like watercolors more pale and then the other way which is where you just go like this you wet your brush and dab it off so it's just a little bit of damp and you just go in here and then you put it on there that's another way to apply too and then that other shape i was telling you about like you just kind of go corner to corner you can make little cross shapes like this To get the most pigment, probably just dabbing your brush. It takes a lot of practice to do that. Um, having like just a damp brush, not like a super wet brush, and then and then just touching it to the tip, and it'll just melt right off. It works pretty well. You're welcome, Melissa. So okay, I'm gonna just dab. Nope, it's still really wet. I don't think. Uh, I don't think my stuff is gonna dry. I don't think my um, stuff is gonna dry in time for me to be able to line it. So I'm just gonna keep working on other stuff in the meantime for my quote that I did earlier with the 3D. It's too thick for me to be doing anything. So be sure to check out on the mix for the finishing touches on that one. I could line it on this one actually. I like one of the ways I like lining or just adding a little pizzazz to my lettering is to add a shadow, a drop shadow. So like push to the right. You just have to realize the direction of your sun, quote unquote, the light sources. If the sun was pushing it this way, which way would the shadow fall? So I like on this one, I'm just going to push it to the right. Usually I push it down to the bottom right, like I'll, I'll do it underneath too, but I just feel like doing it this way. You just kind of push right there. And then if you notice there's little specklings in there too, it's really good for splattering. The marabou crayons, like you can splatter. Well, I might do that actually, because I can do that at least on top of my unicorn. Move my stuff out of the way. Always gotta move your stuff out of the way so that way you don't like get splattering everywhere. Maybe I'll just do it like this. There. Okay. So just like I said, wet your paintbrush, dab it off. Where did my crayon go? Here it is. And then you just, this one is just a matter of flicking it downward. Starting, I guess at the edge and then just kind of whoop, and get a little more water, a little more water. There we go. Controlled, the more controlled, the more, the closer you have to it, the more concentration. So it's kind of this, this nice effect. I might, uh, what do I want to do? Hang on. I want to add, add a little diamond. 
that is maybe. Oh, odd numbers. Uh, put one at the top. Okay. Yeah, I can't line it right now like I just did, but I'll do that later. You can look forward to the to that on there. So this is what I have so far. The other layout that I was going to do, I can do it real quick before the, the end of the stream. The other lettering I wanted to do, I can move this back now. Kind of done splattering. <laughs> similar but the letters are more like aligned like this yeah. very abstract ways of lettering I know it's kind of like weird You're like why are you putting an A there then it looks like you uh but you're meant to like read it like this you are a the a is gonna reach over here maybe i should make that u wider See, are we still on there? Urban legend. <laughs> Dang, Skippy. One. Comma. Woman. <laughs> so it's like a really wide. I don't know if I like that W. I struggle with W's. <laughs> See, I made an imprint because I thought I was going to be really brave about that, but then it didn't work right. Man. Oh, we do man. We did it like this. I matched the W. Man. A. Lowercase a. It's a really tall A. N. Exclamation point. Yep, that's a quote from my friend. For those of you that weren't here at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> my friend told me that. It was like a boost in confidence. So I'll just line that real... Oh, let me erase those lines. Let me erase some of the... I don't have my... Where's my... Let me erase our hot dog. Let me get it prepped. I have an eraser hot dog. It's my... Um, <laughs> It's my 
uh, kneaded eraser is to get it kind of, I always do this to get like kind of that top layer off. Right, it's a little lighter. Okay, that's better. Okay, now I can line it. So I'm gonna take the Bemoji. I've been calling this the right thing, right? It's the Bemoji, yep. Bad writing. really pushed on that tip. <laughs> I'm rotating it every time, I, so that way it's like... I thought I didn't... I thought I missed a letter there for a second. And these aren't really finished works. These are exercises, honestly. Is the brush pen permanent when dry or does it dissolve when it's re-wet? It is not waterproof. So anything you do wet, always do the pen last. Um, I believe, who is it? Um, Casey Golden on her unboxing. The way she did it, she pinned it first but that was only because she um, was doing a challenge where like you draw as you get through the box. And she picked the pen first. And so that didn't work out very well for her. So always pen last. I always recommend in general to pen last. I never trust any pens. Microns are usually the only ones that I can kind of trust, but other than that, no, I can't. Um, so. Uh, and I don't even trust, like, erasing it right now. Like, I would erase all my marks and stuff, but I don't, I don't trust it <laughs> right, right this second. So, here we go. These are all of the things I did. This one, this one, this one that's still drying. Another year dang unicorn. So yeah, thanks for stopping by everybody. Um, I hope y'all have a lovely evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And please join us on the mix. I'll be posting like the finished version of this one and all of the stuff that I did tonight. I'll be posting it within the next day or so. Join me on the mix and follow me on the Art Lab TX on Instagram. And don't forget about the code YouTube20 for 20% off your entire purchase, excluding subscriptions. So yeah, thank you again for joining me and I will see y'all next time. Bye.